Bangkok, the capital of a country that was never colonized, never forced to submit to Western laws. For all the outward show of modernity, this is a city still firmly rooted in the values of its past. Okay. Gok Korn, stage name Go, top model, a star of Thai cinema and a Bangkok celebrity. What makes Go's story so remarkable, at least in Western eyes, is that she was born male. She's a Katoi, one of Thailand's huge community of ladyboys. Later this year, Go will be married to Watanasak, a movie executive. The first time I met Go, I saw her as a beautiful female star. Now she's simply the woman I love. Surely what matters, if you really love someone, is the beauty on the inside, the beauty of mind and character. My family and all my friends never think of Go as anything other than a beautiful woman, a woman that I have to protect and take care of. In fact, they're overprotective. They really spoil me and treat me as a very fragile girl. We in the West have a lot to learn from the ways in which Thai society, Thai culture, more or less readily accepts transgendered people. Christianity in the West tells us that transgendered people are in some way sexually deviant, immoral, living contrary to God's law. They're bad. Western psychiatry tells us that transgender people suffer from something called gender identity disorder. They're mentally disordered. They're, they're mad in some way. In Thailand, people are more able to think of transgender people as simply different. Another part of that rich human diversity, which is part of life's tapestry. This tolerance has its roots in the Buddhist belief in karma, destiny. Whatever we are in this life, rich, poor, man, woman, lady boy, is payback for our deeds in a previous life. According to one Buddhist teacher, all of us have been or will be in some future life Lady boys. I believe I made good karma in my previous life. To be born a man and die a woman is challenging and enriching. The Buddhist faith provides a space for a transsexual and will honor her relationship. Later this year, Go and Watanasak will be married in a full ceremony in the presence of family and friends. I'm not marrying for my own sake, but to honor the woman I love, and to honor her parents and my parents. The lesson seems to be that when the culture allows it and opens the gates, nature flows through, and a rainbow of sexual diversity begins to emerge. The numbers of Thai Katoa are startling. 300,000, according to a recent estimate. That's about one in a hundred of the male population. The more gifted reach the heights of show business and fashion, and in famous clubs like Bangkok's Calypso, play to packed houses of tourists. For you tonight, fantasy of Thailand, fantasy of Calypso. <laughs> 